All right, pulling down here to the river. Uh, we got water coming down from Lake Fort. So the river just now started rising here in Hawkins. It, uh, they started releasing the water Monday morning. And it's just now here at Hawkins Wednesday morning. But uh, anyway, the boat ramp has been repaired. Just shout out to the SRA. It wasn't even really that bad. So just happy to see them fix it for us. Something that didn't really have to be done. So appreciate that. But we're going to get the boat unloaded here and head on up with some line set. All right, the river's still a little low. Uh, it's like 5-2 now, <laughs> which is still pretty sketchy. But with the rise coming, hopefully as I go upstream, I'm going to be getting in more water. There's a few logs that I normally have to jump. <clears throat> uh, I think they're going to be skid right over. December 17th. I'm sorry, 15th. I'm out here on the river. No shirt on. Living. It is uh, unbelievably nice. And the motor is running like pure poop. So up here now, Zach came on up. We just rode on up here. The Lake Fork Creek's right there. We're in the Sabine above where Lake Fork Creek comes in and the water is dead uh, because there's minimum amount of water coming down the river and a lot of water coming out of Lake Fork Creek. So we'll leave down there and check that out. But no current here. I mean, it's actually probably backfilling it just a little bit. Um, I can't really see any backwards current. It's probably just so minimal that not really noticeable by looking at the drift on the water but yeah all right here's where lake fork creek is running in you can see the current there ripping this upstream to the sabine there and it's just dead it's almost just the eddy of the water that's why there's all this debris is in here the sabine flowing on up that way we're gonna try up right here do a little round roof fish and just try it out but this is going to come up several feet right here over the next couple hours um, from the lake release. All right, we got a full crew this weekend. We got Lily and Paisley, and got Aaron up there in the front running lines. We're gonna ease up in this little cut here. We've got a few little sets. They ain't done real good in this fresher, clearer water coming out of this little small lake up here. But uh, did catch a big grin on it earlier uh, the other morning. This line was pulled up into the brush earlier, but it had gotten off. I feel like we got a fish on right here. I think we might have a fish on. Oh, yeah. What's your 22 at? That is not what we're after right there. What you got, little needle nose gar? And you know, we're, we're not, I'm not surprised. That's not untypical for. Um, up in this clear water that's not flowing as well. It does have some flow, but um, so not surprised. We'll probably move this out of here tomorrow. We have a line right here. And what'd y'all see? Right a snake? Oh yeah, I saw him. You see saw him? him? I see him. Oh yeah, I see him. Y'all see him now? That gum, December 17th. Yeah, what is he? Oh, oh, he's up there on top now. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear, hold on. It's just a water snake. Ooh, nasty. Don't touch him. Holy moly, Lily. No, 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 don't, 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 please. Hold on, let's look at him. Hey, leave don't grab that snake. Aaron, you go ahead, bitch. He's smart. <laughs> You're going to get bit in the face. <laughs> He's smart, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. Oh, he's fine. Yes. Oh. 
right, well, we having too good of a time. Let's get this fish off. Oh, gosh. Be smart. All right, let's get back <laughs> up here. Well, that was a pretty eventful little minute. Crawdads and <laughs> snakes and stuff yeah, like that. Lily, get up there with that net. I think we saw it jerking. Are we not scared of Yeah. Well, I don't. I think we lost him here. The line was hung up. We had to pull on it pretty hard. And uh, pulled. Uh, we must have pulled it. You know, he was wrapped around something. We pulled it off. So maybe up here's the next one. Here's that crawfish. Aaron, I'm going to kind of crowd you for a second to try to catch this crawfish. That old snake. Let me see it, Lil. Oh, that old snake was after that crawfish. Hey, right put that sucker on line. <laughs> yeah, well, we can bait him up on the next one, Lil. Yeah, what What we're dealing with this evening is it's foggy out here. The water temperature is a lot cooler than the outside temperature. And, uh, can't really see a whole lot. I can actually see better through my phone than I can in real life, which is usually the other way around. But the river's up. We're pretty comfortable with this section of the river. This, I would never go this fast. It's probably going 20. Uh, in an unfamiliar area. Right, I think we got us a little fish on here. Back us on up. We're just gonna bait it as it goes back here. No, no fish. Got us a little haul this morning. Two flatheads, a little over 10 pounds. Maybe a little three pounder there. Really hauling them in today. We're finishing up the trip here to ramp. Um, how many fish do you think we ended up with, girls? Uh -huh. uh, I think it was six or seven flatheads, I can't remember. And probably a good 15, 20 blues and channels. But uh, here's what we're gonna take home with it. We're gonna keep that 13 pounder there. It look little in this side angle view, but a couple of blues and channels we're gonna keep. But get home, get them clean. We're gonna call it a day or a weekend or a weekday. I don't know what it is. But uh good trip. Oh. Lovely weather for December. Dad, Dad. I'll take it anytime I can. So that was it. We're gonna get the boat tied down. We're gonna get out of here.